good day uh, I'm happy to have you in this tutorial uh, we are going to see how to make change detection using matrix union in Eldas Medin 2014 uh, let's get started uh, actually we need to have uh, before image and after image mean uh, classified image uh, in this example we have 99 image and 2018 image so uh, the first thing you need to do is just to check the raw numbers for those image so uh, right click and display attribute table and then we need to see uh, land cover classes and their uh, and their low numbers so let's start by z to a so as you can see we have built up we have vegetation and you have a bear shell and their corresponding low numbers so for built up we have 63 90 and 115 to the vegetation so i uh, and again we need also to check the raw numbers for the second image or what you can call after image yes and display uh sort by uh z2a and you can see also you have vegetation bs and, and built up with their corresponding low numbers 13 for vegetation uh 24 bs and 121 for the boot up so uh <coughs> what we need to do is just to uh click on raster and go to thematic and then matrix union so uh, for this example we are going to use matrix union for just detecting those changes and uh, as we know the change detection is the process of identifying difference in in the state of object uh, we mean feature of phenomena by observing it at different times and for this case matrix uh, <coughs> dialogue enables you to create uh, the image file that contains the classes that indicate those class values of the input file which or variables so for the uh, thematic image vector one we need to to select uh, the first image which is 199 uh okay and uh, for the thematic vector 2 uh, we need to see uh, to specify the image of the after image the second image and you need also to specify the output file uh let's uh, select okay we can name it as change okay no problem. click okay then run Okay. Uh, okay. What we need to do is just to click dismiss uh, and close, and let's open the third view. Yes. Then let's go to the our change detection image. Go to video. Then okay. Okay. You can see our change detection image as it is then after we can uh, fit to flame okay this is our change image then what we need to do is just to display its attributable okay as you can see here uh, we have the classified image in 99 and classified image in 2018 so we need to sort also by from Z to A so these are our classes and then we need to detect those changes uh, but before let's uh, add our area go to table add area then we can choose our unit as vector no problem and we can name our column as also let's say change then ok and then you can see the changes of those uh, land cover classes with their corresponding after image uh, as we specified in hectares those are the changes in area so we can add the cross name then we are going to match the uh, before image and after image so that we can see what type of change we have so uh, as you can see for the classified image in Y99 we have uh, 90 and uh, for the after image we have 121 and you can see uh, 90 representing uh, 
uh, representing bare soil in the before image and in the after image 121 representing the bull tap so we can see that uh, the change detected here is uh, bare soil to bull tap see this change okay and what we're going to do is just to fill all those changes uh, based on those row numbers with their corresponding uh, after image in the after image so uh, we are going to fill all all of them so uh, as you can see here we have all our detected changes uh, based on the classified images